YouTube, man, Madden 21 is here. Super excited to access this out right now, man. If you guys have EA Play, go to your Xbox store, go to your PlayStation store, EA Play. You can play 10 hours for free right now if you have EA Play. So that's what we've all been doing. That's what we've been got going on. The real game comes out on Tuesday. I already probably have 20 games put in. My team is at 86 overall. I wish I could show you guys my team right now, but... Uh, I ran out of trial time trying to get it on other accounts to access it and honestly I can't really do it right now I mean so what I want to talk about my players and also beginning of the year man I'm changing players left and right everybody's coming out everybody's moving I'm trying as many cards as I can so you guys can watch and maybe think if you want to add them to your team or not super excited this year I'm going to stream every single night on my twitch channel that link is below you guys know that uh because you've been checking these games out live and i've had a ton of good games already now i'll be honest don't really know what the best offense is don't really know the best defense just playing just having fun and uh so that's all so not everything's gonna be pretty not everything's gonna look crystal clear not everything's gonna be top notch but by the end of the weekend i'm probably 20 25 games in by the end of the weekend, I want to have a much better idea of what I want to run on offense, defense, and everything I want to do with my team as well. So if you want any ebooks, any guides, I would suggest the premium membership on Madden Turf. That link is also below, man. That's going to give you everything I put out all year. Ebooks on offense, defense, same with Clef, and same with CC. Uh, so there's tons of opportunity for you to get better at Madden, and that price is really low right now before the season starts. $110 for the entire year. You will not need another ebook from anybody else in the entire world if you get that deal you will be flooded with content all year but let's go ahead and get into this gameplay this was my third game now uh i want to talk about in another video about how much money to spend how much money i spent before the game drops on tuesday but this was my third game the first two uh they quit in the first quarter didn't last very well but this is my third game so the third game's already getting sweaty let's get into it i hope you enjoy madden 21 content hit the like button if you do boom here we go boys now the first thing i want you guys to realize i think the game looks really clean i think this new scoreboard is awesome all that stuff but you know i don't even want to talk about that because i'm not a cosmetic person we're here for the action we're here for the gameplay we're here for the sweats so uh i'm playing another eagles fan now i told you eagles guys are kind of body right there i have the isaiah simmons card now if you want to do a collection i suggest this isaiah simmons by getting every rookie in the game um, for me, that would probably be the number one as we get a pick on the second play by Denzel Ward. I have Denzel Ward because he's 88 speed. Uh, so definitely one of the faster corners you can put out there. So I love him for that. That's why I think Denzel Ward is one of the best players you guys can get. He's really not super expensive. As you see, I have Russell Wilson right there behind the center. Uh, I don't. I never really liked Russell and Madden. I feel like they always gave him bad throw power and everything. And right there, we fumble because... They switched the controls, and now a left trigger is automatic. Uh, don't touch the left trigger. You're going to do a celebration. You're going to fumble like that. Uh, the one thing about controls is really frustrating, but I feel like you'll get used to them instantly uh, within a couple days of playing Madden. So don't overreact to new controls. Uh, I always thought, like, as we get up, oh, we don't get a pick. He threw right at me. But as I said, I always feel like you get used to the way the controllers are, the way the controls work as the game goes on. So you don't have to overreact to that. Like I said, I have Russell Wilson, um, good mobility. I think the one thing about this game as compared to last year is that last year you could not run if you didn't have Escape Artist. This year they let you move around a lot better. That's the one reason why I have Russell Wilson. Um, but uh, pretty much all you guys could get a free Lamar Jackson. I think that's a great thing to have in the game as he tries to go back across the middle field incomplete, coming up with a big third and ten. Uh, but he hits the running back wheel on me right here. Nice little dot to Saquon Barkley. But I said they are giving away a free Lamar Jackson. So uh, either whether it's the pre-sale or you can get five touchdowns and superstar knockout and you get a free Lamar Jackson. So I think that's a pretty good deal. As you see, Jamal Adams making a tackle. He's been a stud for me so far early in the year. Uh, Jamal Adams ha probably has the most interceptions on my team. I have Jamal Adams. I have Derwin James as he throws a dot right there in front of Derwin James to Julio Jones. Now, since this video, uh, Derwin James has certainly been replaced. I wasn't happy with the way Derwin was playing on my team. But in this video, I have Jamal Williams, that boy Patrick Peterson, the best corner in the game. Uh, I know you guys really only 84 speed. 
love Pat Pete. Will always be on the team. Uh, it was still Russell Wilson. That's what I mean. I feel like you can move a lot better without escape artists. Um, the abilities I have on Russell Wilson, I'm trying as I throw the ball to Odell Beckham Jr. right there. I have Roaming Deadeye in this quick draw ability that lets him get rid of the ball out of his hands right there. I hit the wrong button. Too much playing PlayStation. X and Square on PlayStation will always drive me crazy. But we get the fourth down with a little dot to Mr. Julio Jones. Uh, or next play, boom, Odell Beckham right there. I think my wide receivers this game, Odell Beckham, Julio Jones, and I maybe I had Tyreek Hill by here, but I do have Tyreek Hill now as we hit this post route out to Ed McCaffrey. How could I forget Ed McCaffrey? That is the guy that won me my Madden belt, Ed McCaffrey. You guys don't know, Madden 17, Ed McCaffrey was one of the best cards in the game as Moster is my running back because he's the fastest. You always get the fastest running back, right? Uh, so we tied the game 7-7. Seven, seven. But like I was going to say, Ed McCaffrey won me my Madden belt. I have a Madden championship, and he was the wide receiver that helped me beat problem and helped me take down the belt. So glad to see him back in Madden. So they asked me, man, what team captain do you get for me? It's Ed McCaffrey. He's an absolute stud in this game. Don't be fooled by the speed or anything like that. Route running gets his hands on it. So we're at halftime. Boom. Just like that. 7-7, seven to seven, feeling okay. Just like I said, still learning the game. Spin move is weird because you can't hold the left trigger anymore to spin, so that's a little bit lighter. Odell Beckham underneath. Beckham's performed for me. Now, since then, I've moved on from Beckham, but I'll tell you guys, he's a really good card as I dump it off to Julio Jones. Uh, and, of course, it wouldn't be a video without a fumble from me. You know, that's just it's what we do. We've already fumbled with Russell. Now we fumble with Julio. It's getting rough. Uh, let me see Jamal Adams just lurking. Pat Pete, I told you guys, it's something glitchy about Pat Pete. It's something in the water gets him going. He's just, he's tall. He's fat. I just, uh, this is my favorite corner. Um, I have two Patrick Peterson signed jerseys hanging in my room right now as we get that sack out of field goal range. Prob and honestly, what's crazy about Madden now, you guys can comment on this. Does Madden make you a fan of anybody else? Because I really wasn't a Patrick Peterson fan until it came to Madden. As we see uh, Russell Wilson getting out the pocket right here, picking up uh, no yards, but <laughs> no negatives. Um, I like the mobility of the quarterback. That's one thing we've always had a complaint on is Noah Fant I have in this game. Noah Fant making that play, breaking the tackle, moving on up, running a little spread right now. Like I said, I, I really don't have a base offense. I don't have one or two plays that I like right now. I'm just mixing it up and trying to find something that I can get comfortable with as I dump it off with Beckham. But uh, like I said, uh, I really wasn't a fan of Pat Pete until I started using him in Madden, man. Is there any player that you became a fan of because of how, how well they played in Madden? Pat Pete is a good example of that for me. Uh, Ed McCaffrey for sure as well. Um, but we get a nice little third and four right here. We're able to, oh, no, we overthrow that corner out right there. Fourth and four. We're in the fourth quarter. Got to get this. Got to make it happen. Drag route right here. Tyreek Hill. Boom. Right there. Catch. Now, as we run a little, then there it is right there. A little jet sweep to Odell Beckham inside the 15-yard line. Clock is running out. Uh, we want to get to the two-minute one. We want to score. Mostert, oh, almost takes it to the crib. Inside the five-yard line, we're going to run dive, and he hit sticks me. Oh, my God. Now, I don't know. I didn't believe that run defense. You're going to have to show me again. Almost got through there again, but we pick up the first down. We're inside the two-minute warning. We're going to run some clock right here. Uh, I like how dive is looking right now. Another dive to Mostert. Fights. Fights right there. Gets in. Touchdown. Now, one thing. Uh, this kick meter is ugly. They made it like thermal imaging, bright, glowing kick meter, and I... I missed the extra point. So now when you miss the extra point, you're thinking the whole time, wow, I hope I don't look like a fool and lose this game just because I missed the extra point. But I feel good about my defense right there. I have all these abilities on a defensive line. Uh, the way you can set up abilities now with, with points, it's kind of like salary cap. So if you have one as he throws a dot right there, we're inside the 20, inside a minute left. He has one timeout. Uh, guess who? GG's. GG's in the chat. GG's in the chat, Mr. Patrick Peterson, as we hit this little out route to McCaffrey. That's going to take all the clock. That's going to be GG's in the chat. Uh, Patrick Peterson made the play. So that was my first, first, first game that actually went four quarters. Actually took the whole time. Actually, they didn't quit out. So I wanted to bring you guys that game just to show you that what it looks like my first game playing on it. And on top of that, man, I just... There's things I really like about the game, and I'm really excited to keep exploring it. Like I said about those abilities, man, you can have six people with an ability, 
if it's only a one uh, at or what ability point that's what it's called ability points you can have 10 ability points on either side of the ball now something like enforcer costs three ability points or something like edge threat or pass rush elite costs four ability points so that's going to kill your ability salary cap now if you want something like secure tackler that's one ability cap so i kind of want to say that you can have I know I've had six. I don't know if you got more than that, but you can have at least six people with an ability. So you can have six secure tacklers if you want, if it's one of the lesser abilities or something like that. So that's one of the great features they put into the game this year to try to balance out those abilities. You're not going to see two enforcers or three enforcers all with lurker, all with uh, universal covers. No, you're not going to see that. You want to see way more balance in the uh in the abilities now like i said i have four more game plan plays already from the first week in the mad man so i'm going to put them out every 500 likes we're going to put out another gameplay i'm getting better and better as the game goes on and hope to catch you guys live in my twitch stream soon